So, I just got back from an ayahuasca retreat. That shit was fucking crazy! It was really crazy. Uh, they had soup for breakfast. It's very strange. Um, but yeah, so let's get started. I, uh... <laughs> So I am in the adult film industry, just like um, Kirsten it was just up here. It's really cool to have another comedian in the adult film industry. I say adult film industry because it sounds more professional. Um, I'm sure you're probably wondering, oh my god, what, what horrible thing happened to you that got you in this industry? I gotta be honest, I'm just a big fat whore. I just like to get paid for what I'm good at, you know, isn't that what everybody else does? I mean, I love sucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love it. I, um, you know, I did get to choose my name when I got in this industry, and I was like, no, I want to go with something badass. I'm gonna go with Nikki Blow. It's kind of ironic. I like to suck dick, and um, my agents were like, that's too porny. And I was like, okay, that's what we were doing here. But all right, that's fine. So I decided to go with Nikki Knightley because obviously me and Kira Knightley. We have a lot of similarities. We have no tits. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know, I, I did try the whole normal job thing. Wasn't really for me. But that's okay, I'm not gonna beat myself up over it. You know, I'm great at a lot of other jobs, like hand jobs and blow jobs and foot jobs, and you know, the list just goes on. <laughs> um, <laughs> it can be hard being in this industry sometimes, though, like, I don't know, checking my Twitter feed anywhere but the privacy of my own home. I'm like, oh my god, Megan Rain's doing DP? Good for her! <laughs> Sorry, family standing right behind me. Or how about just getting jizz in your eye? Yeah, that fucking sucks. I don't know why no one's come out with jizz be gone eye drops. You know? Does no one else struggle with this happening on a regular basis? Apparently not. <laughs> so I recently, I've been doing a lot of girl girl scenes and um, it's kind of weird. I, the last few girls that I had sex with, in the middle of our scene, decided to spit in my face. Is this something that people are into? Is this, they're like, yeah, no, spit my face. I'm like, okay. And then they're like, no, spit in my mouth. I'm like, okay, this is getting weird. And then they're like, can I spit in your mouth? And I'm like, I have a lot of spit in my mouth. <laughs> I think I'm good. Maybe if I was like cotton mouth, I'd be like, okay, maybe I can spit in my mouth. But yeah, so my family found out I was doing porn. <sighs> yeah, I know. It's awkward. My mom was like, so I saw your interracial gangbang. <laughs> I'm like, cool, the one scene I didn't want you to see. <laughs> and, um, she was like, so were they all black? Really? That's, is that the only thing that she cares about? She's racist if no one picked up on that. Um, <laughs> She's like, what are you gonna do when you have kids? Huh? What's gonna happen then? Well, what, what are you gonna tell them when they go to school and their, their friends are telling them about your international gangbang? And I'm like, I don't know, I don't really like kids. They, they kind of shit and piss everywhere, constantly. And they scream all night. And they don't appreciate dick. And you put everything that you love into this one little being, and they just grow to hate you more and more the older they get. So I guess kids are just not for me. <laughs> oh yeah, that's it. Oh, okay, I'm being recognized. Yeah, that's weird. Definitely weird. I was in a music festival in Kansas City, Missouri, and this guy's like. <laughs> Someone here from Kansas City? Woo! Shit! There's nothing out there. Um, 
So I went to this music festival and I'm like, you know, tripping balls. And I go into a little store and I'm like, oh, I want some and stuff. And this guy's like, hey, are you in film? And I was like, film, 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 film. film. What kind of film? And he was like, do I really have to say? And I was like, oh. Okay, that is now in my that frame. kind of film. I mean, I guess there was a director and a camera there, so. Such a dick. I guess he never really thought of it like that. Okay. Um, dating, yeah, shit. Dating can be weird and hard. Um, it takes a certain kind of person to be okay with me getting more dick than him. Not that I would want him to be getting dick, but, yeah. Um, sometimes they just can't handle the amount of dick I'm getting, and they're like, oh my god, does he fuck you better on set? Is his dick bigger than mine? I'm like, yeah, it is bigger than yours. It can be too big sometimes, you know? Like, I could not handle that on a regular basis. But I do. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, I don't really tell guys unless it gets really serious. And then I still don't tell them. <laughs> I recently decided to get back in shape and I was like, I'm gonna get a personal trainer. And he trained the shit out of me. So I took him back to my place and I trained the shit out of him. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you all um, jerk off to me after the show. Thank you.